What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Just BSing. Well, today, Todd McFarlane hosted a fan expo panel at the Phoenix Fan Fusion event, and they released official photos. Well, they're blurry, but they're official photos of Wave 8. Now, the interesting thing here is there were only five figures shown, only five figures mentioned, no mention of one of the ones that was previously leaked, and that's Metamorpho. So we're not sure if that is going to be some type of an exclusive figure, or if maybe a gold label, or if that is off the table for Wave 8 and maybe in a future wave. But what we do have are the official photos for Booster Gold, Guy Gardner, the Black Manta repaint in all black, and the Dark Knight Returns Batman and the Max Fleischer Superman, which as we speculated in our Wave 8 leaked video, are the repainted versions of the Wave 1 bodies for Superman and Batman. Now, that's expected. It is a bit of a disappointment. Was really kind of hoping for at least those two to get a kind of rework or new body style or even using the classic detective version of Batman for that repaint. But unfortunately, that is not what happened. That said, based on the photos and what you can see in these images, I'm not upset at what I'm looking at. And I still like them. So I will definitely be picking these up with pre-orders. And speaking of pre-orders, they just said soon. They didn't give an official date. They weren't released after the panel. So we're not exactly sure when those pre-orders will release, but we will definitely be keeping our eyes out for it and we'll let you guys know as soon as they are available. Now that's not all that was discussed during this panel. So I'm going to kind of run through a quick recap of some of the other things that were discussed, starting with kind of superpowers adjacent was the DC multiverse mega figure announcement of Darkseid. And this is a very Kenner superpowers looking dark side. It looks very cool to me and I might even pick this one up. I haven't really been picking up a whole lot of the other McFarlane offerings other than superpowers line uh, and, and a couple other ones here and there. But this one is looking like it will actually fit right in with the superpowers and will make a very intimidating dark side, much more so than that wave one dark side we got. Love that dark side. Love that kind of new 52 inspired dark side, new gods inspired. But this one, this one is the, the classic style Kenner. It, the only thing that will, would make this one better is if it had the light bar at the top so its, it's eyes lit up when light was shown down. But I, I really like this. So I'm assuming a lot of you guys will like this one too. This was a reveal, so this was the first look, I believe, at this figure. Uh, again, no other purchase or pre-order information given, but we anticipate that will probably be coming soon as well. We also saw from the 89 Batman movie a very cool cowl statue. Uh, this is not one that you can wear, I don't believe, and I, I think it was even said during the panel, I'd have to go back and rewatch it. They said, you can't wear this one. So this is just for display purposes. Is. Looks very nice, um, but at a price tag of, he said, about $100, so we don't know if that'll be a slightly under or slightly over. Uh, it's, it's a fairly pricey item, but it would look very, very good on display. So if uh, you really like the 89 Batman, like we do on the channel, this may be something you want to pick up. For us, probably not, so it probably won't be on the channel. But if any of you guys are looking forward to picking that one up, let us know down in the comments and maybe share some photos when and if you get that. And finally, now this was touted as a big announcement before the panel even started. This was kind of the whole hype up for this panel was a big announcement. And that announcement was a partnership between McFarland Toys and Marvel. And so what we're going to be seeing, these do not appear at this time anyway to include action figures, but we're going to get a line of one sixth scale and one tenth scale statues. And the ones that they showed during the panel are very nice. And they actually, in the press release, show off the Spider-Man and Captain America ones heavily, uh, pop some of those photos up. Those are looking really nice. And you know, we are superpowers and DC fans through and through here on this channel, but we also love Marvel. And these are very tempting. So we'll have to see when these officially come out if there's something that we might be interested in, in getting on the channel. And it makes you wonder if the 1 6 and 1 10 scale statues are in the works now, could there be figures in the future? Todd McFarlane even said during the panel he wants to do a Spider-Man figure. So I would imagine that at some point we're probably going to see some figures. I would love him to go retro as well and do maybe some Secret Wars uh, retro-inspired figures for the Marvel line uh, or, or for anyone to do those for that matter. But um, most likely that's not going to happen. 
Todd was even kind of said he was he was split himself on the superpowers line during this panel because he said that he always wanted to make toys look way cooler than the things that were out around that time or that late 80s, early 90s. And so he fought really hard to get that. And now everyone's doing those kinds of figures. And now all of these retro figures are back in style. And now he's doing that kind of figure that he was you know, rallying to to improve upon back in the, the early 90s. He said he still loves them. He definitely understands why they're popular and why the retro is selling, and he really loves doing them. But he always fights with himself because he wants to make little tweaks and makes them better here and there. But instead, we get a lot of repaints. <laughs> so again, we're, we're faced with some of the same Batman and Superman repaints. Of course, Black Manta, which so many of you still weren't able to find that way for a Black Manta. So here is another chance to get one. The black suit looks very nice, very classic Black Manta style. Not Super Friends style, but still looks really good. So that'll be another opportunity for you guys. Again, as soon as pre-order information is available, we will let you know on the channel and get that information up for you so that you can try to get your pre-orders in as quickly as possible. We know how fast they sell out. That's all for today. Just a quick one, guys. Wanted to give you that update from the panel and give you guys the official look at the Wave 8 figures, minus Metamorpho. So we'll keep our eyes out on that. Hopefully, he will still be coming in the near future. Take care, guys. We'll see you in the next one.